I feel like I feel like I have to react to this because I'm part Asian, so I feel like I have to react to this in some way. Um, <laughs> beating up Asians does not prevent coronavirus, so <laughs> I think this is gonna be good. Um, Tonight on Channel Six News, the increase of violence towards Asian Americans continue to rise during this coronavirus pandemic, and why right. scientists believe you should reconsider your next hate crime. Coming up next. I hope this isn't. I'm Ryan Ankerman, and this is Channel 6 News. While COVID 19 infections continue to ramp up here in the United States, <laughs> so have the reported hate crimes against Asian Americans. Oh, but man. is this phenomenon something that is helpful to the pandemic, or is it something that we've all misunderstood? They're being beaten, their properties defaced. Why there's a Fuck, huge spike in Asian American hate crimes here in the U.S. during this pandemic. I spoke with Dr. Scientist of the American Central Health Ops Organization. Uh, Dr. Scientist. Exactly why. So why do you think Achoo. there's been such a large increase in violence towards Asian Americans? Well, the coronavirus was reported to have started in Wuhan, China, which, according to our research, is, in fact, an Asian country. Right. Therefore, <laughs> here in the U.S., we believe that if people started to contract the virus locally, it would be at the fault of the Asians here, the Asian American people. However, after extensive research, we've made some new incredible discoveries, and one of them is that there's actually a geographical difference between the Asian Americans living here in the U.S. and the Asian people living in Wuhan, China. Come on, son. How big of a difference are we talking? About 11,000 640 kilometers or a little over 7200 miles wow that is yo this is this is a bit sad um i like i like where he's going with this his his being a bit sarcastic but it's a bit sad you know because um the human race tends to do stupid shit like this you know so it's there's, there's no reason for you to attack anyone that's asian for that matter cuz for one to the naked eye a lot of you probably cannot tell the difference between the different Asians around the world. A lot of you probably can't. Um, so to the naked eye, you would just be sort of, you know, uh, assaulting someone who is not from China, but maybe from Taiwan or Japan or Laos. But it's just sometimes the way the human mind works is, is, is very, very tragic. Um, I'm enjoying this so far, though. His, uh, his, I, like, I like a bit of sarcasm is a great distance and you are sure of this my team and i have ran tests after tests on asian americans and each time they come back positive for being americans living here in the u.s and not in china i mean some of them have never even been to china it's amazing how is that even possible that is incredible you would not believe the things we're finding i mean we're starting to see patterns that not all asian americans are even chinese <laughs> and with that new information we wanted to see how people would react to this groundbreaking discovery so we went to the streets where i at Ray, one of many Americans who are not only continuing to go outside, but going out even more now that they don't have work or school. Nope. Uh, I'm to say it. I hate all of them. This is all their fault. This whole Corona thing. Who are you referring to? The Asians. I mean, they're everywhere, and they're all infected. Ray come Sussman on. is one of many who believe that all Asians are infected with coronavirus <laughs> and are solely responsible for their ruined lives. I mean, look what they did to us. We can't even go outside no more. We ain't got no sports. We ain't got no toilet paper. Your hillbilly accent is good, but it needs to be a little bit deeper like this. You can't go outside no more. You ain't got no toilet paper no more. You need to work on your hillbilly accent, bro. Or you can hit me up, and I can just do the hillbilly accent for you. <laughs> we ain't got no jobs, below average IQ, no money. We got to have your own cousins <laughs> now. We smell like ass, and it's all because of them damn ching chongs running around eating bats. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Ray, the new discoveries made that not all Asians are from Wuhan, China, infected with the virus. And in fact, most of the Asians he's seeing here in the U.S. are more than likely Americans, some who've never even been to China. That's what they want you to think, all right? But I ain't no dummy, okay? It's simple. If you're Asian, you're Chinese. If you're Chinese, you're from China. You're from China. <laughs> you got the virus, and you're going to get beat up because that's the only way we can stop this thing. Can I ask who told you that? What do you mean? The president told us. He called it the Chinese virus. I don't know if you know this or not, but that directly translates in English to go around beating up Asian or <laughs> I would not for two years of Japanese in high school, so I speak Chinese. Oh. So knowing what we know now is that Asian Americans are in fact Americans and are just as likely uh, not like Japanese as any other race.
By the way, people do this mistake all the time, and I find it so annoying. Chinese is not a language. There's Cantonese, there's Mandarin, and there's another... There's a couple of, a couple of more uh, languages that are spoken by a very small minority. Chinese is not a language, yeah? So don't go around telling people, do you speak Chinese? It's not a language. It's Cantonese, Mandarin, and then there's like two, two more... I, I don't know which ones they are, but... Um, Japanese is a whole different language as well. I love, I love the, I love the, the, the tone of this. Beating up Asians, or shouldn't we be beating up every ethnicity equally? If we want to so that's where our findings get even crazier. How so? We found that not only does beating up Asians or any race for that matter not help prevent the spread of coronavirus, uh -huh. but according to our research. It may actually increase the spread, but how? Thousands of clinical trials, <laughs> our research revealed to us that when you engage in the act of beating someone up, you're actually making physical contact with that person. That's right. With your fist or with the open hand or with a foot, whatever it is, you're close enough. Just breathing in the same <laughs> air, being in the same vicinity severely increases your risk of getting infected with the virus. That's right, it's social terrifying. distancing. There's no way people would know that, which is why we found it imperative to educate the public as soon as possible because naturally <laughs> the most logical thing a person would think to do when trying to defeat a deadly airborne virus is to go and assault the people who you think have it. But with this virus, that may not be the case. It could just be making everything worse. I'm loving this. We took this new and profound information to the streets. I'm loving this. the minds of people like Ray by showing him our interview. Y'all expect me to believe this? That That's the same person interviewing himself twice. <laughs> now that I look at you two, even you and the cameraman, y'all looked exactly the same. Y'all the same person. <laughs> you remember what you believe? That is true, I do believe that. Hmm. Is it all look alike? After watching the rest of the interview and learning all the new discoveries made, we asked Ray if his mind was changed. Nope. <laughs> and let me tell y'all why. Because we wow. are proud Americans. We are angry. That's right. We are scared. That's we right. We are irrational. That's and right. We are going to continue to do our duties as responsible Americans and go outside with all our friends in big, close knit groups. That's right. Asians because that's how Americans beat this virus. That's okay, right. With our bare, unwashed fists. That's because right. America is number one. We are number one. That's we right. We are number one. We are number one. <laughs> are racist, man. And in fact, America is still number one. Is about to uh, is about to give the Rona some freedom. Leading the entire world in both COVID nineteen infections and death. I'm Ryan Ankerman, wishing everyone out there to be safe, stay home, and stop beating up Asians, you freaking idiots. <laughs> oh my God, this was beautiful. This was this was this was truly beautiful. I thoroughly enjoyed this man. This this got my uh, this got my day started. I thoroughly enjoyed this man. Um, sad, but I like his I like his take on it. It was you know what's going on is a bit sad, but I like his I like <laughs> I like his take on it. Yo, if you need um, if you need an Asian person for any of your skits, just just hit me up, bro. Just <laughs> just hit me up, cause. I would have loved to be that uh, <laughs> the redneck, uh, the trailer trash. I would have loved to play that role. Um, <laughs> it's just, I don't know how it would have worked because I'm a whole lot darker than you. But um, <laughs> I just, yo, this is fire. I enjoyed it. Um, thank you for addressing an issue that the media isn't reporting on as much. Um, and thank you for converting it into a more laughable manner uh whilst adding the sarcasm to it and a little bit of realism to it as well um but yeah that was fun i'll put that link down there down there um you guys need to check it out man at the time of recording this was number 28 on the trending list but this should be number one man i'm gonna I'm 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 push for this to go up to number one hopefully i can hopefully i can do so but that's it for me man <laughs> stop beating up asians i'm out